Now I've got a question for you. What's the connection between this beautiful 18th century mill house here in the heart of rural Wales and a top London hotel? Now that's got you in a pickle, isn't it? And quite right too, because the answer's jams, chutneys and marmalades. Now this is a home of Wendy Brandon who specialises in the making of over 120 fine preserves. Not only available here in Wales, but also at the Ritz Hotel in London. Wendy, this is an extraordinary story. It all started in a small kitchen in Sussex. Yes, yes, in the, in the, the kitchen in my own home. And how did you end up here then? Well, um, I had to go into rented premises in Sussex. I couldn't afford to buy anything in Sussex because properties that were too expensive and still are. So I had to move to a part of the country where I could afford to buy somewhere where the preserves and me could live. Why originally did you get interested in jams, chutneys, preserves? When my children were at school, there were the endless fundraising efforts. And my effort to raise money was always to make marmalade or chutney. But not many people go then into serious business. No, but I wanted to do something and that was something that I knew and liked doing, so I did that. All of your preserves, your jams, your chutneys, all made from fresh ingredients. Yes. Can I do a little bit of tasting and see if I can identify what we have here? We've got one, two, three, four different samples. We've obviously got a marmalade, a chutney, a mustard and a jam, is that yes. right? Now to me, this looks like a traditional orange marmalade, a thick cut mm -hmm. marmalade, but I may be wrong. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Lovely colour, lovely orange colour. Mmm. I'm not wrong. That is an orange marmalade, isn't it? Mm. That's oranges? No. No, it's not, actually. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh, it's not lemon. No, it's... um. No. no. I know it's not lemon. It's, oh, come on, give us a clue. It's grapefruit. It's grapefruit. It's pink grapefruit. Pink grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Now you tell me, I can see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, here we have a classic pickle by the looks of things. It's got a big, chunky, it could be, I don't know, um, could be this, I don't know, certainly. Oh, that could be green tomato, maybe in there. Um, a lot of um, peppers in there. Um, yes, it has a lot. It's quite oily, and that is hot. Well, uh, it's just a very hot pickle to me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to even attempt to eat the chunky bit there. Oh. What is that? Is that a green tomato? No, or? it's an aubergine. It's aubergines, is it? Right. Pretty hot. I need something to uh, cool me down a well, bit. Well, you better go to the jam. Yeah, because the next one's a mustard, and I don't want to yeah. do the mustard yet. Yeah. So here we have a jam. Lovely orange colour. I'm enjoying this. Here we go. This. Mmm. Tomatoes. Tomato jam. <laughs> hey, I've well got one. Well done. Well that done. That is beautiful. That's quite an unusual jam that we do. A tomato jam. And you really can taste a tomato in that. Delicious. Tomato jam. Never had that in my life before. Mm -hmm. I'll certainly try that again. Mm -hmm. And let's go for the final sample here. We've got a mustard here. Uh, you can see the mustard grains. And it's almost got a sort of horseradish look to it, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that is, that is going to be strong. Mmm. That is tangy. And that is a citrus fruit. Mm -hmm. And that is a lemon mustard. It is. Mm -hmm. Got it right. A lemon mustard. That is delicious. I didn't do too badly after all. No, no. Thank you very much. I would be very interested to know really how it's all put together and I'd love to try and make something myself if that's possible. Sure, you can come and help the girls. Mm -hmm. The girls? Yes. Lovely. <laughs> I'm going to go and help the girls in the kitchen. Um, right. I might just have a bit more of this tomato before we go. Right. Zoe, we're slicing oranges here which suggests to me we're making marmalade today. Yeah, that's right, for the Ritz Hotel. This is for the Ritz? Yes. And how much uh, marmalade are we going to be making? Uh, this is three batches here. Three batches? So yeah. what, what's in a batch? About 20 jars. Well, what have we got here then, Zoe? We've got some lemons, which is going to be for a lemon marmalade. All right, so um, we've got the oranges cooking on the hob at the yeah. moment, and we're making a lemon marmalade. It's exactly the same process. Yeah, exactly. These have already been quartered now, ready to be sliced on the slicer. This is the slicing machine. What yeah. do we do? How do we put them on? Make sure they're unevenly so they're sliced. The same. All right, here we go. Look at, Look at that. Perfect. And that is how you produce your coarse cut marmalade. Yeah, that's right. Here are oranges bubbling away there, nearly come to the boil. So uh, what's going to happen next? We're going to add the sugar now. And is there anything else in there at the moment? 
the, uh, we've added the lemons that we cooked earlier and there's apple juice in that. Apple juice in, a, in an orange marmalade, that's a bit unusual isn't it? Yeah, that's what makes it our special recipe. Aha, uh -huh, I thought it'd be something special. Now, the sugar. I've got the sugar here. Look at all of that. Uh, this is going to go straight in, yeah. really, all in one go. This is going to make quite a lot of marmalade, isn't it? This will make about 20 jars. 20 jars. All right, now we stir it yeah. and it'll dissolve fairly quickly, I'd imagine, yeah. in that heat. Um, hang on, I'm good at stirring. Look, here we go. You've got to have the right gear, Zoe. Here we are now at the final stages. The marmalade is now being put into the jars. Where's this going? This will go either to a shop in England or it may go to the States. We have an order coming up for the States. Really? Across yeah. the Atlantic? Yeah. Marvellous. Now, it's not often that we find you here in the kitchen, but uh, clearly sometimes you've got to try and devise new products. Yes, that's my department. I fiddle about with new recipes. And that's what you've been doing this morning? Yes. Yeah. Right. What a great job, isn't it? Yeah. What have you got here? This is your new design? This is a new jam and it's a very small amount. We just do small amounts to yeah. begin with until because we're sure that we've got it right. Sure, and it can take quite a long time, I suppose, to develop something which is really quite right for you. Yes, with a, with a jam it's whether it sets, with a chutney it's whether it's the right spicing. Okay, this is a jam here. Um, I've, well, I've no idea. Even the smell doesn't give me any clue at all. It's Mm. Oof. <laughs> it's sweet to start with, but that is hot. <laughs> That's not a jam. That's chili jam. Chili jam. <laughs> God. <sighs> this. It's not funny. <clears throat> That's not funny. You let me put that big spoon in there and a chili jam. You asked for a big spoon. Well, I, uh, because I thought it was a nice sweet jam. Wendy, thank you very much. Now, clearly, the, <clears throat> the brand and preserves go all around the world, all around the country. And now you know what it's like behind the scenes. It really is wonderful. I was going to apply for a, a job as an official taster here, but <clears throat> quite frankly, I don't want any job now after that. I need a glass of water. 